a very, very good friend of mine reached out to me. The scenario comes down to she has a Southern husband and a Southern family that she married into. She does not know Southern cooking, so she needs a little help with a Southern dish that hopefully I can help her with. Usually when we call, we're trying to figure out what bar we're going to go to. Basically. And this was not a bar call. This is a frantic call. Exactly. Like, you were freaking out. Well, so I married a boy from Atlanta, right? Yes, so you did. everything's got to be Southern. His family is Southern to the hilt, mm -hmm. especially his Aunt Joan. Mm -hmm. So she tells me that every good Southern wife needs to know how to make a tomato pie. Okay, now I'm a Southern wife, so now i got to learn how to make this pie. Right. Call Ryan so I don't have to call Aunt Joan and go, what's in a Southern pie? Because you got to look good, right? Right. I have to look like... Southern pie. I gotta say, this is the most Googling I've ever done in my life when it comes to something, but I actually called my mom. She's like, duh, Perfect. don't you know what a Southern pie is? It, I thought it was gonna be quiche, to tell yeah, you the truth. I thought, so I thought it would be custard based with eggs and cream and milk and so on. Nope, not at all. It's tomatoes layered with herbs and then a crust of cheese on top that has mayonnaise inside of it. Shut the front door. That's why it's Southern. So what I'm gonna do actually, Jen, I'm gonna blind bake this real quick. So okay. what I mean by blind bake is, I'm gonna pop this in for about 10 or 15 minutes and get that crust at least starting to get going. Okay. Because the last thing you wanna do is put all these ingredients on a raw crust. So tomatoes, okay. it's something that all year round you can get, but they're not they're not tasty all year right. round. Right. So I've got a simple little trick for you I wanna show you. Take a tomato under hot water for 10 seconds. What that's doing is kind of like when you get a facial or a steamy bathroom shower in the morning or so on, it releases the pores. The tomato actually becomes supple and juicy and delicious. If you don't keep them at room temperature, this is the best way to get the best juice and flavor out of your tomatoes. I want them about three quarter inch thick. Okay. So this is kind of like a meat replacement, okay? Okay. And I want you to slice them and layer them on the cutting board just like this. And there's no reason to take this out. Wow. We're just gonna make that part of the dish. Okay. Okay. It's not gonna be bitter. No, it's gonna be fine. Really? I don't know why people say it's bitter. It's delicious. Just add it in. All right, Jen, you're gonna finish slicing that. I'm gonna check our pie crust real quick. It is almost there. You see how it's getting a little bubbly? Yeah. That's what you want. You wanna make sure you get a foundation of crust on this first. Okay. Cool. So now we've got our tomatoes. They're sliced. You can put that down. It's perfect. You don't like me with a knife, do you? No, it actually scares the <laughs> out of me. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, you're gonna think this is kind of a little weird, but I want to extract the liquid out of the tomato and the salt is actually doing that. So when you add salt to something, what it's doing is it's pulling out the moisture, kind of like okay. when you season or dry age a meat. But I want to get every ounce of liquid off these tomatoes. So them slanted here are gonna drain off into the sink. Makes sense. Done. We're gonna head back over the table and make the crust, but I'm gonna teach you a trick that a lot of people don't know. Are you one of those people that chop and when you're chopping the house, you're like this? And the board, 100%. yes, all over the place. take a paper towel, damp it. Now try that, chop a little bit. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. I know, it's a wet paper towel trick. Love it. Who would have thunk? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of scallions and some basil. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna slice this up for you real quick. Just a little bit of scallions that are gonna kind of be mixed in with the tomatoes for a little onion flavor. Last but not least is basil. We're gonna put them in between the layers of tomatoes, kind of like a buffalo oh, mozzarella salad, love right? this already. So what you had, you've had this in there about 15 minutes or so. Okay. Okay. This is absolutely perfect, Jen. This is enough that we know that the liquid from the tomatoes is not gonna break it down and make it soggy. I'm gonna go grab our tomatoes and we're gonna assemble a tomato pie. Perfect. You can see all the liquid has come off them. I love that trick. Right? Perfect. You want a little slant on them, that way the tomatoes can actually be sliced through. And then what we're gonna do, put one guy around the middle between these two. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Last okay. but not least, make it rain with green onions. I love this. All right, so the crust. So this is not light on the waist. Okay. But the way I wanted to make it light, you're gonna really laugh at me. I bought light ranch. <laughs> I had to mix it up a little That's bit. so much better. But I have to tell you, I put ranch and mayonnaise with cheese. Stupid good. So this Forget is it. this is your trick that you Californiaed it right. with ranch. ranch. Done. So what we're gonna do here? Okay. We're gonna dump and pump all this stuff in here. Take half this mayonnaise. Okay. And put that inside there for me real okay. quick. Okay. All right. So now we grab the ranch. Cool. Okay. And do about a good squeeze. A little salt. A little bit of pepper, Got it. okay? And now we're gonna add two different cheeses. So first the cheddar is kind of very southern. Right. So add the cheddar mix inside there. Mozzarella is gonna kind of give that cheesy pizza kind of crust. Yeah. It's gonna kind of bind and hold everything together. Okay. <laughs> All right, give it a little mixy mixy on this guy. All right. So now what we have is our cheese mixture. And you guys can see this right here. See how it is really, really thick? This is exactly what you want, okay? 
So now about 325, 25 to 30 minutes in the oven. And it won't burn the crust anymore? No. 25 minutes later, psh. Time to take a bath. All right. Oh, Hello, so hot so stuff. Uh, I'm done. Beautiful. Right? Oh my gosh. Looks yes. darn good, no? Yep. So one thing I learned about Southern pie and also tomato pie, room temperature is key, okay. but you know what? Not, Not happening. Mm -mm. You wanna get the Southerner in here? Yeah. And see if he really likes this? Absolutely. Scott, come on in. Get crust, get crust. Scotty, get crust. Go. Mm. Shut up, man. That is awesome. Holy crap. Is this what's going on in the South? Mm-hmm. We need to go. Oh, we go. Nicely done. Thank wow. you, Ryan. And thank you for saving the southernness in my California marriage. I appreciate it. Thank you for teaching her how to cook this. <laughs> this is amazing. We love you. We love you. I Good love best. you too.